my name is Diane Miller. You're currently watching the Just Kidding Around show. Thank you so much for joining us. Each week, we introduce our viewers to crafts, hobbies, and various ideas. Today, this is Freddie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and we start by looking at the camera by giving a shout out to somebody out there. Yeah, well, I guess I'll start. Yeah, I wanted to say... Um, hello to Kirsten and to Kenny and Carl and all the TV viewers out there. Uh, hey, thanks for watching Public Access. Okay, and I'm off the subject here, but alliteration is uh, a poem with three words that start with the same letter. And when you said Kirsten, Kenny, and what's the other one? Carl. Carl, they all start with the C sound. Oh, anyway, that's true. Yeah, I that's good. Resist. We've been talking about that at school this week. <laughs> anyway, so I want to give a shout out to the people on the crew. Thanks so much for coming in, volunteering your time. And thanks, John. Johnny must just run the camera in here, and Waldo's in there directing. So thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah, and lighting. Who is lighting today? No, I'm not sure. I wasn't. Oh, Arn. Yeah, yeah Arnie. Yeah. I always worry that I must say his name wrong. Thanks to Arnie, and we miss you, Max, because he couldn't make it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this show is different. I've been doing this show for a lot of years, and um, Freddie is a big name around town. He's an artist. Don't say that. He has all kinds of stuff, and he's one of the big brains behind this studio. And we were talking about doing a show, and one of us, I don't even know which one, said, let's do a show about vinegar. I think we, it was just sort of, it was just sort of in the collective unconscious. You know, is we're both sort of thinking about yeah, it, yeah, I think, yeah. I don't know. And you're probably thinking, it's time to turn the channel. But really, it's time to set your recorder because vinegar is one of the most amazing things. It has health properties. It has cleaning health properties. That's right. It even, properties. it even has things like, you know, you can even, uh, there's beauty and wellness things. Yeah. So, like, uh, people use it for, you know, hair things. And uh, it's really good for your guts. I guess that's part of being in health. But, you know, oh, and it also has food preservative properties. That's yes, one of the things. Yes, yes, yes. Historically, so that many it's done. things, and it's been around for like ten thousand years, so you know it's good, and it's practically unchanged in all those years. Yeah, that's true. Although there's so many varieties of it, you know, I think people have continued to make more types of vinegar, oh, mostly you know for the cooking stuff, but for the things like as a cleaner and as a preservative and things like that, it's, it's it has been remained the same. Well, um, I'm excited to learn because. Because I use it for cleaning, and that's yeah. just about it. It's great for cleaning else. because it's eco-friendly. You know, a lot of cleaning supplies have lots of chemicals in them, and they are not very good. They go down the drain when you're done with them, or, you know, they're and like... And stay in the environment for, like, 40 years, some of these cleaners. Yeah. And yeah, fume yeah. up the air, you know? Like, vinegar has a unique, like, kind of acidic, sour smell, maybe, but it... It's actually not it's not bad for you, and it doesn't stick around that long, especially even oh, when you're using... Oh, it dissipates? Yeah, it dissipates. Okay. Um, okay. It, it, it's sort of I like... That. Yeah, it's good. Like that. Okay. Um, so, I don't know. I guess we've got a bunch of props here today. We do. So, where do um, we start? I mean, I was just going to start with, like, what is vinegar even I in the first place? I love it. What is vinegar? <laughs> I actually Googled that question today. I thought I've been learning all this. Well, what the heck actually is Vinegar. Tell us. <laughs> well, what vinegar. Is it? Okay, so I like the I like words and like why words are what they are. What what is vinegar? One of the things you can say in what is vinegar is the etymology of it, which is like how it was made. It's a French word originally that's pretty much spelled differently, but it's the same thing. Um, and it has the, its Latin roots in vin, so the V-I-N in vinegar. Okay. Uh, that's wine, you know, oh. like vino type thing, you know. Right. And then the last part is A-I-G-R-E, so agar, and that's sour. So it's essentially just oh my gosh. sour wine. You know, that is so weird because I looked at the word today, and I just saw V-I-N-E. Yeah. And I thought, you know, like... Oh, no, I didn't think of wine. I thought of vineyard, oh, which yeah, is sure. well, like uh, wine, which mm -hmm. is all. But I didn't, I had no idea about the second syllable. Oh, yeah. It's la How yeah, Latin roots. Do you do that to all words? All of them. All of the words, I, yeah. That is very cool. And it is sour. And you know what? Something else that Freddie and I learned. In What's that? The process of making this. <laughs> Remind me. That your tongue really only oh. has, I'm holding up four fingers. It's five. It's five. It really it's only five. has five different tastes. And one is sweet. Yep. Okay. One is sour, which is the one that we're going to be working with most today, I think. And one is salt, sweet, sour, salt. Uh-huh. Then it's 
Um, bad time for us to Umami, trip. which is actually, yes. uh, that's, what is that? That's It's like savory, so it's like cheese yeah. and oh, soy sauce. Cheeses? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And bitter. Bitter, and, yeah. And, you know, it's funny because I have kind of messed up my taste buds, and uh -oh. I think most Americans have, and that's a whole other television show, but... But big corporations actually develop recipes to addict us to their oh, foods. Oh, sure, sure. And the two flavors that they usually use are salt and sugar. Yeah, salt and sweet, definitely. Yeah, so people love salt. that sweet I, stuff. Watch out for that sugar. No kidding. You know, it's cool. Sugar actually has a big part in uh, how vinegar is made to oh, begin with. Okay. Um, so that's actually like what you can make vinegar out of anything that has natural occurring sugar in it. So. Um, most vinegar that we think of, you know, we think of apple cider vinegar that's made of ap with apple cider. Okay. Um, there's, you know, vinegar that is made with grapes because, you know, you're thinking wine. That's so there's red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar. And there's like lots of other things like rice. It's, yeah, we'll, we'll go over the some Japanese of them. Japanese use mm -hmm. rice. Rice vinegar is rice used vinegar. really heavily for like, uh, you know, pickling some vegetables oh, and also for um, making this, the, the rice for sushi. The, it's used okay. in the process of rice wine, or rice vinegar is used in that. Uh, but even things like fruit in Europe, there's a lot of fruit wines, and they like retain the the, um, the flavors of the fruit into the vinegar. And coconut vinegar, in you know, coconut vinegar. Mm -hmm, it's used in a lot of like southeastern like? cu Asian cuisine. Uh, Does it actually taste like? Coconut? It's got like sharp. It's got a sharper taste, and it's kind of okay. like cloudy white vinegar is what it, it looks like. Um, yeah, the, the way that they do it, essentially, is um, it's kind of like, a, I'll talk about the science stuff, and then we'll get into kind of the more fun stuff in a second, but okay. um, it's essentially the whole idea of uh, alcoholic fermentation, which is, um, you know, the process of something where yeast changes the natural sugars, uh, so any sugars, it changes them into alcohol, and uh, I think it's like it eats something, and it eats the sugar, and it's a byproduct of these yeasts, so that has to happen first, and then... There's these, they add these things, or sometimes they just happen naturally, uh, which are called acebacters. Acebacters. Oh, they actually add things? Sometimes, you know. I thought that alcohol, if you leave it uncorked, will automatically turn to vinegar. It, I think it, I think it will, yeah. But they in, can intentionally control it, though, too. They can, yeah. Because um, okay. it's these bacteria that eat the alcohol and turn it into acetic acid, which is like what most vinegar is. Vinegar like if, if you take this white distilled this one, vinegar. This is what we usually think of when we think of vinegar. Yeah, definitely. So it's like, it comes in a big jar, it's clear. Um, it's 5% acidic acid, which um, that's like the main you know part of but it. But I so, thought we want to be more alkaline. Well, I don't know. It's not as like easy and cut and dry as that. You know, uh, you are trying to find a balance, I think. So, um, and acids have a lot of things that they do. Like vinegar, uh, they'll use it for... Um, you know, when you have meat and you're like not tenderizing it, but um, what is softening it? Softening it? Yeah, it softens it. But oh, a marinade. That's oh, it. Oh, marinade. Because yeah. the 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 acid will actually like kind of break down the meat oh, a little bit and make it softer. Okay. Um, so it's not very easy to make your own vinegar, and I think people do it, but you don't really get the acid as high as as it does oh. with like commercially or retail made okay. um, ones and you have to have it above four to do things like pickling it or maybe even cleaning stuff you know you don't because it's the acid in there that's actually doing a lot of the important heavy lifting stuff okay um, yeah so um, but there are many 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 more different kinds of vinegar sauce. yeah lots and lots and you know what I read in this book what's that when you were out buying the salad recipes oh, yeah I'm just new to vinegar I I read that in New Orleans, of all places, oh, yeah? that they they um, spend like they have these long processes for making very complicated vinegars, yeah, and that they're actually as expensive as wines, and mm -hmm. and they can have a lot of different flavor to them, and I guess be quite delicious. The the wine I thing doesn't surprise me. This. The wine, yeah, I mean, you probably could drink that; it would not be that bad. It is, I mean, it's probably kind of sour, obviously, but it's not going to hurt you. Um, the wine thing, though, it's funny that you say that because that's how even I think it got discovered. So the story goes, I mean, this is a long, long time ago. This is all the way back in like 5000 BC um, in the Byzantine, I think. Uh, no, Babylonia. Um, so there's a guy like was 
in charge of the wine and something got in, on a, uh, in one of the um, casks, something was left open or something or had gone, it just been sitting alone for too long and they opened it up and it was all sour, but they realized that instead of it being ruined, it had all these properties that wine didn't have. Like, you know, it had, it was acidic. It, they started using it for other things. And in fact, it became um, like a, they used it in food preservative, especially at the beginning. Cause at so that they time- So they didn't fire the guy? <laughs> they I might have at first. Just kill him. I think they probably fired him at first, but um, you know, they, they started using it pretty quickly because it's hard to find things that preserve food. So they would, uh, uh, especially back then. Back then they didn't have refrigeration. Sure, no, they didn't. So they were using that as a preservative and as a condiment. Um, and then there's a couple other fun history you know facts. What I heard? What's that? I heard that it was, and I, I heard about that Babylonian thing. Sorry, I didn't hear that same story. But um, they were talking about Cleopatra. Oh, yeah. And you already knew that story. Yeah, yeah, a that's a great story. We were reading from our different No, no, the, books were the, so what Diane's re referring to is there's this story that Cleopatra made a bet. I think with Alexander the Great or something like that about that she could eat a uh, I don't know she could eat a fortune in a single meal is what she said and what she did was she used vinegar to dissolve um, to dissolve pearls like you know very expensive pearls and it just melted them down into the vinegar and then she used that in the meal somehow and then ate you know ate these pearls um, so it actually it can dissolve things that there's all these things that it can do um, it'll take rust off of things. I'm jumping well, around a little bit. It cleans pots really well. Mm -hmm, cleans pots really well. And you don't want to leave it in like a cast iron for too long because it will actually start to really like erode. On a my bit. way over here, I stopped at a store and I told her, I said, you know, we're gonna be talking about vinegar. And she said, well, I cleaned my sink today. It got rid of the odor in my garbage oh, yeah. garbage disposal. Yeah, yeah. She used she used soda though. And vinegar. No, that's the. They kind of go together. It's sometimes. funny because that's exact. I'm, I was gonna say something just like that. Maybe I can, because it, it'll not only clean your sink like that, uh -huh. but um, one of the things I do all the time is um, you can actually. This will be my first, uh, my first recipe. So you guys can. This is. I got a recipe here. Um, it's how to clean your drain. So you can clean oh. your sink and get the stains out with vinegar okay. and baking soda. But if you want, if you got like a backed up sink. Yeah. Um, one thing to try before you start putting all those crazy chemicals down the drain, uh -huh. like the, what are those, drain busters or Ooh. whatever, you know those things that are yeah. like, you can get at the stores? Um, you could take a cup of salt and a cup of baking soda and you get them down the drain and then you pour a half a cup of vinegar down there and then you plug the drain. You know, you, I mean, if you don't have a plug to plug the drain, you don't really have to do that step, but it makes it better, you know? You have one of those things where it catches the stuff in your sink and you plug it and then you wait for 15 minutes. And the, for the 15 minutes, you go and boil uh, you boil some water, and it, uh, you know it's like three quarts of water. But I just usually boil a whole pot of water. Fifteen minutes go by, you unplug the drain and pour the boiling water down, and it, anything that um, is stuck in there, like just kind of like greasy, gross stuff that gets mm -hmm. clogged in your drain, it, the vinegar and baking soda when they go together, they make some. They make like a, a foamy. Thing. This is baking soda here. Oh yeah, they do. That's right. So they make. Foams up. Yeah, they make some foam. Let's see if I make a mess here. You want to hand me the the. This is the vinegar I would oh, use. Yeah. Let's see. You might want to get a close up on this camera operators. All right. Um, oh. So here we go. We're gonna pour it in. Let's see what happens. Uh, gonna zoom in. Here we go. So I'll do that down my sink. So why am I putting salt in it? Then it Ooh. bubbles up. And so when it has the pressure. You know, the bubbling breaks that stuff up, and then the boiling water just heats it all up and flushes it out. Oh, that's why you would It's do really, that. really effective. It, um, and baking soda and uh, vinegar work together I'm smelling a that. lot. Yeah, you can smell it. <laughs> it's not bad, you know, it's pretty good, I think. It's a taste that you can definitely, you know, start to like maybe. So that's good. <laughs> oh, Sometimes really? you have to repeat that as, as necessary, you know. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it doesn't always get everything all the, all the time. And but. you know something, I, I use vinegar, this sounds crazy, but years and years and years ago, I complimented this lady on her bright yellow top. Oh. And she said to me that it, it stayed yellow because she put vinegar, a quarter of a cup of vinegar in all of her wash. Hmm. Well, as years went by, I just left the soap out. And I have clothes I've had for years, and you really have to be careful with blacks and reds. And, uh huh. You know, because they fade so easily. 
I just wash my clothes in white vinegar. Huh, and it works? Really? Yeah. That's great. Well, except for like, you know, like a comforter, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Wash that. But, that's but great. My and clothes, you know, it, oh, I, I wear. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic. I've heard that, that, that ha that's very, you know, a lot of people do that with the laundry. Yeah. It also like soften your clothes as you do that too, is I've what heard I've heard. It's supposed so. to soften clothes, but yeah. I, I can't tell because that's all I use. Yeah. But, um, and I also hang them to dry. I don't put my dresses in the dryer. But, um, also, bathtubs, like, people will put these horrible things in bathtubs yeah. that, that are so poison to clean out the bathtub. And you know what? You, you shouldn't put anything on your skin. Then, of course, you, you're not putting it on your skin, but the residual is still in that bathtub. Sure. And it, I've heard it takes, like, 40 years for those things to leave the environment. Yeah. Some of those things. Have That's not good that? stuff. Yeah. yeah. And if you use vinegar, you know, and you don't get it all totally washed out. With the oh, bath wow. thing, um, you can also add vinegar to your bath, and it's a skin softener. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, just wash it. So, so it's, like, it's like cleaning the tub a little bit that. as you take a bath in you it. You know what? Throw some like is this why you wanted to do a show on vinegar? Because you already were an expert on vinegar? I'm not an expert on vinegar. Or did I just, you just learn all this recently? No, I mean, I learned a lot of it recently. I, I have I have incorporated vinegar into my like into my cleaning. Yeah. Um, I think while we're on the topic Windows. of cleaning, we'll go at, we'll, well, we can do the next little thing. You want to hand this me, one? once again, the white vinegar? Well, and come on. Are we going to be responsible for our environment or not? No. You know? No, we're not? Oh, oh well, okay. we should be. But most well, people, I mean, the cool thing about this, too, you know, not, not everyone's going to be motivated by being responsible for the environment, but right. it's also really inexpensive. Cheap. So, you know, this is like... Easy, Wherever handy. you can get it, it's the, it's vinegar, white vinegar is really inexpensive. And yeah. if you want to do just a really generic cleaner, um, you know, I, I usually just do actually just half vinegar, half water. And then okay. you've got a solution there and you can Why just... Why not straight vinegar? Um, I don't know. It just like smells more, I guess. It's, you don't oh, need to use okay. all of that. It's like, uh, it's, it's powerful enough without it. So I just get like a little spray bottle. Um, you can get these just at any sort of um, store there that sells spray bottles. And then you get your white vinegar. And I guess I, I got to be aware of this camera here, but we'll just do it this way. So then you pour it in about half. And, um, you know, it actually does say that you can add um, pure Castile soap. Which is like that? What kind of soap? Pure Castile soap. Oh, Castile. So you it's can? like, oh, yeah, and, and it'll it'll you know kind of bubble up a little more. Okay. Um, other things people have added are essential oils like lavender and things like that, so oh, that really? it kind of has a little bit. How far did I fill but it? But now, up? what if I took this and drank this right now? I think it'd be fine. Really? I'll, I'll try it. Let's see. No, Freddie, don't. I don't think no, it's totally healthy. You can I totally think we need to study more. No. That you're supposed to drink. We're That's gonna good. talk about apple cider. Vinegar this one, later. we're gonna talk about apple cider vinegar. This one is made with corn. It says, um, so white distilled vinegar is one that's made usually with grain. And um, one of the things you'll notice, it's it's very plain. It's very clear. It doesn't have a lot of additives. Um, the, a lot of other ones have, you know, minerals and things, vitamins even that are inside of them and, and trace amounts. Like it's not like they're that. It's that big of a deal. So then I fill the rest of it up here with. Just regular water. And this is actually the spray bottle that I use to like clean the counters at my house. Oh, counters, that's a good idea. Counters, counters and windows. Windows, it's this stuff is like so good at cleaning windows, it doesn't even leave streaks. Then what do you dry? Paper towel or newspaper? Uh, paper or? towel is a little bit like, you know, oh, those there's a little useful, you, you know. You sell you, those at the pop fair. Yeah, paper towels or just like a, a cotton rag will yeah, work. Yeah, you see Paper towels are fine, now. but you know, if we're, if we're if we're focusing on the environmental part of it, it's not a good idea, paper towels, really. Um, oh, so it's better to get one. You see those all over now. Yeah, these are great. They're not too hard it, to It find. doesn't matter. What are they called? They're kind of felt or something. I don't know. They, they, I don't want to use the, the, the like main term, but you get the idea. It's like a microfiber yeah. thing, so you just like spray a little bit of this on there. I, don't, I didn't really bring anything to clean, but... Um, That's okay. We believe you. You just spray it. Yeah. And my mother told me that it supposedly gets rid of dan, dan dandruff, but she says she's never tried it. So yeah. Told that. Well, but we'll, we'll get to we'll odor, get to that stuff. Foot odor, athlete's stain. foot. I mean, there's all kinds of things. We're just listing off things. Um, oh let God. me. You've got yeah. So my book to see I'm just going to do the cleaning. We'll finish the cleaning stuff, and then we can move on to maybe some um, yeah, some more we, eating we're things. Yeah, because we have nine minutes.
gonna slip. What? I we were gonna uh, make the oh dressing. my gosh! No, we're gonna now make a we dressing. We have to talk about apple cider vinegar. Oh my god! Okay, let's see. We got that's um, the medicinal. Okay, one. let's. You get the idea with cleaning. It also is a weed. You can use a weed killer. Uh, yeah, use it as I weed killer. That. That's why I think it wouldn't be healthy for me if I yeah. cleaned weed. I don't know. You know, you're not gonna get like soaked entirely in vinegar. I think so. It'll probably be fine. Although people, you okay. know, um, Helen this, of Troy took baths in vinegar. This that was, really is good for you. This yeah. is apple cider vinegar. We'll take. Yeah, we gotta split these. And you these don't wash your windows with that. That's no, this different. has got. It's actually made with apple cider, and it's got a I don't know. Can you in zoom there. in Somebody's on this? Can you see? It? I, I don't know who. I don't know if, I which camera. Yeah, you can see this thing. It's called the mother. It's actually um, a. Uh, it's a. It's called cellulose. It's basically, it's just this harmless. Can you can you zoom in on that? Maybe camera. Um, and it's floating around in there, and it's they. It's made by the vinegar bacteria that is um, fermenting and making and it into long vinegar. Can that live? Do I don't know. I just indefinitely. It just lives in your thing. There. I mean, how it's not get... really. The little bacteria are alive, and. When you you can they use that to speed up the fermentation process. And it's got probiotics in it. If you're one of those people like me and you're always looking for more probiotics, in fact, my kombucha uh, oftentimes tastes like vinegar. Oh yeah, that's that. Like, you can actually make vinegar out of kombucha too. It's got a, it's got a similar taste okay, to it, but because, you can. Okay, fermentation. Um, the apple cider vinegar has citric acid, formic acid, malic acid. Lactic acid, succinic acid, and acetic acid, which is the one that um, other okay. the other ones all have. You know, they all have that. Um, this is really good, I guess. Um, Do you drink this? You drink this. I've I, heard that it changes how sugar um, reacts in your body. You know, and how you should drink an ounce of it every morning before you eat carbohydrates. So I'm going to do the part where I, I show you my uh, recipe. This is for when you're sick. So if you're sick, you have a sore throat and it hurts or you're coughing, this will definitely, uh, like maybe not permanently, Ooh. but temporarily it will soothe your throat and let you maybe fall asleep or something while you get some rest, drink lots of other liquids, of course. Oh, is that cayenne? Take a little bit of cayenne pepper. We'll just do a little bit, a oh, little bit. apple cider vinegar. Cayenne oh, pepper. Gross. Yeah, you're not gonna like this. Cayenne pepper, you take some honey. Oh, okay, getting better. Yeah, I get some honey in there. Let's see, I'll move this off to the side so that the shot has it. And then you put a little bit of honey in there, um, and then wait, uh, and then you pour the. I like to pour the water in so that it melts the honey. It's hot water. You boil some water. Got six minutes here. We're gonna have to make it quick. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And grab a little more honey. Oh my gosh, how we can talk give you, six minutes? <laughs> we can do it. We can Vinegar's do it. It's more exciting than I thought. Yeah, I don't know. It's, so you pour that in. So far, it's not too fun. It's just honey water and cayenne pepper. Are we gonna gargle it or drink it? We're gonna drink it. Oh my god. I drink, you know, I drink Me, one of these. as in you? Well, I'm making one for you here too, so oh, we'll both lovely. have one. Um, so then then you put in the apple cider vinegar. You know, I, the one part I didn't put in, because it's gonna take too much time, is, um, you know, I'll give you a little less, how about that? Thank you. Um, but the more apple, I mean, the vinegar is good for you, so. And there's Don't probiotics in there. What does cayenne do? Does that speed metabolism? It's just spicy, you know. Oh, it'll, I'm squeezing a lemon in there. See that? Oh, this is like a health drink. Uh, oh, watch out for the seeds. By the seeds. way, this will be on YouTube if you didn't get a yeah. chance to um, uh, Squeeze a lemon in there. Or, you know, you can just use lemon juice from the store, but I had a, I happen to have some lemon. This is fresher, and you get the pulp. And you get the seeds. Don't drink the seeds. Oh, and this is raw honey. Freddie, you're a healthy person. <laughs> so then you just stir it up and see if you like it. It's really going to, um, yeah, it, the, you start with boiling water, but all the other stuff's kind of not too cold or too. And I don't gargle. I just drink it, huh? Yeah. People at work have been getting sick, so this oh, is Oh, this will be good. Listen, yeah, it's a tonic. Thank you. And the cayenne is spicy. Mm. Oh my god! Is that good? No. <laughs> it's really it's good not. for you. It's you know, like it. It means it's working. It's good. Uh, but that's the problem. I like sweet too much, and mm. this is not sweet. I like it. And it was spicy. Can I want put more honey? honey in there? Yeah, sure. Nice. Meanwhile, okay, we're, we can get down to the last bit of it. I, I, there was all kinds of things to talk about. Lots and lots of other vinegars. The main thing to remember is that you can use any vinegar, or you can make, they they can make, or you could even try to make vinegar out of pretty much anything that um So that we can make vinegar. Sugar. And let me, can I sum this up? 
Vinegar is a good cleaner. Mm -hmm. Primarily this corn stuff you said. Yeah. Okay, so it's corn. And Pam made the balsamic. It's medicinal. And what's the other thing it is? Oh, it's a condiment. Yeah. Yeah. It's a condiment. And I read, oh. you know what I read? I want to say something since you know so much. I want to say something. Balsamic vinegar, please. Okay, okay. So, different vinegars are for, did you always say this? Are from different places in the world. I think you did say that. But I learned that malt vinegars are more from beer drinking countries. Hmm. And that well, they need to learn, especially Germany and Northern European countries. And, and so, so it, vinegar became a byproduct of their beer. So they then took it into the kitchen. And, you know, you think of the English putting um, malt vinegar all over their fish. And sure, fish, yeah. You know? But then the vinegars from, like, France and Italy are more balsamic. Is that right? Um, maybe, yeah. I think that, you know, there's all, there's all kinds of different vinegars from different countries. Uh, balsamic vinegar started in Italy, but, you know, Europe, is, like, lots of places in Europe, you know, you think is of Is it the, as old as the other vinegars? Um, I think the oldest vinegar is probably red wine vinegar, or okay. maybe, maybe even white wine vinegar, depending on what they're making, but the grape vinegar is probably the first ones. Are you hiding that on purpose? I'm not hiding it, I'm, I'm making like, it so that they can oh, see here. Oh, I see. Oh, so you that take, camera's on, I'm you take, sorry. You take, uh... I would I think it's like three parts oil, two parts balsamic vinegar. You see balsamic vinegar, if you're looking here, it's got a totally different consistency than, um, than the other vinegars. It's very thick, it's dark, um, and it's, this is, balsamic vinegar is fermented over a long period of time, like at oh, least 10 months. Oh, so it ferments longer. 10 months? Yeah. I mean, for the really good stuff, Ooh. I don't know if this is the really good stuff, so but it- So it must be loaded with probiotics. And then some salt and some pepper, so it's olive oil. Oh my gosh, that's all? I mean, you could put some more of the lemon in here, but this is a, a little vinaigrette. Um, I don't know if- Why you made that quick? That's it's, it? It's quick and easy, you know, and, and it's like, not Isn't so much about awesome? measuring. You can, you just kind of like get your, you get it to the way you like it. And then can you I just- Can I taste a little bit of it? Yeah, you want to- Pour it all over that salad? You want to try it a little so bit? So this isn't fattening and it has health properties, right? Right. Um, it does have olive oil in it, and you know, so I'm going to drop some of it in your drink. Um, I just wanted to say, I also talk, wanted to talk about the pickles. You can make pickles with vinegar. You just, um, you take equal parts vinegar and water with some salt in there. You heat that up and then in a, like a mason jar, you put some dill seed, some garlic, some uh, peppers maybe if you want, just whatever. And then you put the cucumbers, you cut up these pickling cucumbers and you stick them in the jars as packed as you can. And then you get that, uh, that uh, vinegar and water and salt just boiling as hard as it can and you pour it into there and it fills it up and you like tap the top and make it the um, air bubbles go out and then fill, uh, top it back off. Screw it down with the lid real tight and put it in the fridge and in about 48 hours you'll have Seriously? real pickles. Yeah. You're sure the lid should be real tight? Yeah, put the... I thought you're like, supposed to have it loose. No, no, I, I would definitely right. want, you, you want to you want to do that. So we'll, we'll you, you know... You know so much stuff. I'm putting the... Um, does the Kruger eat the salad? Yeah, it does. Yes, they do. They and, do. It does. Um, you know, and I guess I should have made a lot more salad dressing. I like it really vinegary, but you can kind of find your taste. So, salt, you, pepper, and you know, olive oil, and vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and you've you got a salad dressing. Do you eat vinegar every day? I try to, yeah. Do you know what? You look, if you could see him in person, Freddie looks so healthy. Maybe <laughs> it's vinegar. It could be vinegar. Um, so, it looks like... Wow. You know, while we're going here, we'll eat some of the salad. I bet Can it's I good. Can I say something that's off the subject? But it's something that went through my head. Cancer loves sugar. Hmm. It feeds on sugar. So if cancer loves sugar, I'll bet you when it if, when we eat something sour, yeah, I bet it doesn't make cancer very happy. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, oh. I wonder where what else we could. It looks like we're running out of time. So <laughs> yeah, we're out of time. But we got to wrap. Maybe um, you know, part there's. I wanted to say some resources. We could probably do a part two, but we got the most of it. Um, you know, one of the, the books that I I would recommend here is this one called Make Your Place by uh, Rayleigh Briggs. Uh, you can get this at My the library. Book's good too. Yeah, and then yours is Vinegar, 1001 Practical Uses. Books there's tons of books at the library yeah. that have that you can check out. And then there's some websites, versatilevinegar.org and uh, vinegartips.com. Those you. were very handy. So Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Freddie, for all this healthy stuff. Wow. Bye. Tune in again. Just kidding around, Shell. Bye. What the hell are you going to talk about? I can't believe it went the whole time. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> like, like you knew more details. About.
I just, I, I made those notes. <laughs>